Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Partshala's video series. Uh, in this video, we would be looking into how we could delete or terminate uh, existing running VMs or instances in GCP. In the last video, we have just seen how to create VM instance in GCP. And uh, so after I refresh, uh, this is the VM instance that is already running in the uh, Google console i could go click on the vm and quickly take you through the current stats that are there on the machine if you see that the status of the virtual machine instance is actually running now there are quite a few options that are available for us to uh, go around with the virtual machine so we could either stop the instance so that we could save costs but then one thing that we should be aware about is uh, uh, in any cloud platform, even if you stop the instance, uh, you would still be charged for the disk space that has been allocated for the virtual machine. So yes, there would be very less cost optimization if the instance is stopped, but then obviously there would be some cost uh, around with it for the disk that is being attached. In this case, uh, we are currently having a disk of 10 GB attached to the server. So uh, I'll quickly take you through the entire configuration again. Uh, as you see, the instant status is going into stopping state and this should very soon be converted into the stop state. Uh, the disk which has been assigned to this is 10 GB in size and this is the boot disk that has been assigned to it. And uh, these are the other options that are available for us. I'll quickly go back to the original window and refresh the screen to see if the instance has been stopped. Now this is how a stopped instance would look like in GCP platform. I could go ahead and start the instance as well. So I could click on start and this should boot up the instance for us. If you refresh the page from the top, uh, this status that's there which says is stopped should now be changed to the instance is being started and will soon be running. So this is being staged and this would soon be in a running state. So this is how uh, we could stop and start the instances. But if you want to save costs uh, and not have any costs incurred, uh, all we have to do is click on the instance, go to the uh, options on the top down and click on delete. In this, uh, it would give you the uh, option to confirm that if you would like to delete the boot volume as well. This will also delete the boot disk, which is cpb 0 vm one Once I click on confirm and click on delete, uh, so this should uh, start to delete the to instance and uh, the process is quite similar to all virtual machines running on cloud uh, the first first the instance is stopped and then the stopped instance is deleted or terminated every cloud provider has their own way of naming resources and processes around it in AWS, uh, we would call this operation as terminating the instance whereas GCP they simply call it as deleting the instance. The functionalities are the same. If you delete an EC2, if you delete a VM instance in GCP, the boot disk also deletes with it. But you could also uh, mention that when an instance is create, uh, being deleted, if you would like to retain the disk, uh, you could have that option enabled when you are creating the virtual machine. Now, if I, if I take you to disk, so I should not be seeing any disks also associated uh, with my account or the project at the moment. As you see, there are zero uh, things which are assigned and attached to this. So this is how we stop start VM instances in GCP and also delete VM instances in. Uh, this is what is recommended on a regular basis if you're in a learning phase and you would like to save costs. In the learning journey, it's always recommended to delete terminate instances so that you save costs. 
associated with it that's it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you like the video please hit the like button and share this video with uh, colleagues so that they get start with the gcp journey thank you so much for watching keep having a great day